Tetris has been a very hot topic lately, and this right here is yet another way to play this beloved classic, but is this unit brilliant execution, or does it miss the mark? Today we're taking a look at the new Tetris Micro Player Pro from our friends at My Arcade. And at a glance, you gotta admit this thing does jump right off the shelf at you. The bright white finish really makes the side art pop, not to mention this colorful button layout. Obviously there's not much to unbox here but the unit itself, so let's just get this thing out and take it for a test drive right now. The joystick is a bat top, but without the D-pad beneath it, like the design in the earlier models were used to. This honestly looks better in this instance, and the control feels good and tight with proper bounce back. The control deck boasts three brightly colored buttons, two for rotations, and one for the hold feature. You have two soft blue buttons at the top for the home and start function. Good looks. As we saw with the Galaga unit I reviewed recently, the back of the unit has the plus and minus buttons next to the power switch for turning the volume up or down. And at the base, you have a headphone jack, a port for a USB-C power supply, and a button to cycle through the three different screen brightnesses available. The coin door is no longer a power button like it used to be on the old models, but the graphic still lights up here when it's powered on. And on the bottom, it features the latest in LRF technology. That's right, long rubber feet. Keeps the unit from sliding during tabletop play. Again, this accepts a USB-C power cord, not included, and a five volt, one amp power brick should be used. Now you can of course use four AA batteries, but I prefer to plug in. This unit has the standard 2.75 inch display and is the same size as other releases we've seen. Peeling off the screen protector, Plugging in, and we are ready to get started. The screen looks good. You go right into a settings menu that allows a handful of ways to customize your experience. This is a version of Tetris curated specifically for this device, not a ROM of a past iteration. And while you obviously can't be nostalgic for a version you've never played, this is still a very fun and playable version of the game, reminiscent of versions from Gen 5 and 6 consoles. The sound slaps with a heavier bumpin' version of the original riff and quality in-game sound effects. The gameplay is pretty much what you're expecting, but the handling is on point, so here again, you get a playable game and not just a novelty. The setting screen features a stage select, a handicap option with multiple difficulties if you want to live dangerously, and the option to turn the ghost piece on and off. So set your own challenges and play your own way. This unit retails for $39.99 just like past releases have, but it's on sale right now on Amazon for only 30 bucks. So if you want one of these, the getting's good. And I've included a link in the description of this video for you. What do you think of this thing? And have you bought similar My Arcade units in the past? Comment below and let me know because you know I love getting a conversation going with you right here on the show. You know, one thing this unit unfortunately doesn't do is it doesn't exactly scratch a nostalgia itch all the way because this isn't any of the classic Tetris versions we jammed on coming up. The irony of that being that we've seen many, many arcade and plug and play products in the past get put out with NES ROMs instead of arcade versions, which generally resulted in disappointment, but that actually would have flown here. You know, NES Tetris will always be my favorite version of Tetris. And while it's not the arcade version, it is an arcade version, having been featured on Select Play Choice 10 cabinets in the past. But again, what we do get here is a playable, functional, and customizable Tetris experience that manages to be plenty of fun. And with the bright finish and colors, this unit steps up the shelf candy factor a couple notches, making it a cool addition to the My Arcade lineup. I hope you enjoyed this review, and if you did, I hope you're going to drop a like on the video and subscribe to the MC Mer Show. And I want to say thank you to our friends at My Arcade for giving us an opportunity to take a look at this unit right here on the show. And if you want to see another fantastic review for another fantastic product, click right here and keep the action going right now. MC Mer signing off for this fantabulous episode. I will see each and every one of you again next time.